It is opening this week, brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. For all the latest Showtime and ticket information, just go to amctheaters.com. Ashley, what are we seeing this weekend? Well, this week, it's the Brothers Grimsby. Dimwitted Nobby Sasha Barra Cohen lives in an English fishing town with his loving girlfriend, Wubble Wilson, and nine children. For the last 28 years, he's been searching for his long-lost brother, Sebastian, Mark Strong. When the two finally reunite, Nobby finds out that his sibling is a top MI6 agent who's just uncovered a sinister plot. Wrongfully accused and on the run, Sebastian now realizes that he needs Nobby's help to save the world and prove his innocence. Um, I, I I just can't get into this movie from the trailer. Like, we all talked about the last trailer here on Movie Talk that it looked like they were selling Sasha Baron Cohen's entire career, which has been hilarious so far. You have Ali G, mm-hmm. you have Borat, and then they're using that to sell us on this new movie that has nothing to do with either one of those characters. So it's like, hey, we made you laugh before. Trust us to do it again in this new spy movie with Mark Strong. I love the premises. Don't get me wrong. I think it's genius. I like these two playing off one another. I just don't think that it's going to work based on this, the material I've seen so far on the trailer. I don't mind when comedy trailers step back a little bit and don't show you the best jokes. I don't think that's been the case here. I think they've thrown everything at you and just nothing has really hit yet. Dennis, are you into seeing this? No, I mean, like you, I thought the trailers were very underwhelming. I mean, yeah, the premise sounds great, and I love Sasha Baron Cohen as well, you know, Borat and Ali G, but the trailers don't, don't do anything for me. A lot of the jokes we've seen in there are, are kind of recycled from other things we've seen right. before, right? The the therapist one, yep. and the suck on the balls thing or yep. whatever. Like, I just, I, I'm trying to convince myself to go see it, but right now, I think on Rotten Tomatoes, it's like 43% or something like that, so I, I just don't know. Well, I don't need to convince myself. I will be seeing it tomorrow okay. afternoon. Christian and I are going. We'll report back to base camp. Schnapp, are you going to be going with us? No. Um, <laughs> uh, based on the horrible trailer, I'm going to skip it. Uh, look, I loved Borat. I loved Ali G. But don't forget Bruno and the Dictator. So those are the things that have kept, you know, and that, this feels like a lesser degree to that kind of really bad humor, kind of jokes that don't stick. Honestly, after seeing that horrible trailer, I was like, man, maybe it's going to be really funny. Like, it's almost like the trailer, like, you know, I got, like, Stockholm Syndrome from the trailer. Like, I'm not, now I must see the movie because it's going to be that bad. I, I It's hard to tell. It was just, a, just a, re- a badly put together trailer, which was like, wow, that just really looks unfunny and kind of like an ugly comedy. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't I didn't have a lot of desire to see Get Smart when they released that. There was Steve Carell and Anne Hathaway. and ended up enjoying that movie for what it was. Same thing with Spy with Melissa McCarthy. I'm like, I don't know if this is if they're going to try to, you know, do the comedy too hard in this. And right. I ended up enjoying that one as well. So maybe it's going to be the same situation. I just don't think that this movie looks like it can even live up to those films. So I'm going to have to, uh, well, actually, I do You're going to see it tomorrow. Yeah, you can't pass. Yeah. Can't I'm looking pass. forward to hearing what you have to say because honestly what if you're like oh my god it's really funny and the trailer just was horribly cut together they they tried to pick all these scenes that they thought would work in the trailer but instead you actually have to see them in context that happens a lot with trailers can we ever just talk about something that's not movies i think always have to be movies well maybe after the movie talk show we'll talk about other things hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider